Hey everyone, so um, some time ago, Siora, I hope I'm saying that right, posted here on X that, um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't quite understand how to spin up um, a MySQL database and integrate it with my Express backend. Most resources I'm looking at talk about how to make MySQL queries, but not this specifically. Um, so I figured I've done this before, I think it's it's helpful maybe to, to show you instead of tell you over text, so let's do that. So to start with, you're gonna need Docker. Um, Docker is running on my computer, um, but you can just download it, I think, from docker.com. Yeah, just download it for your architecture. And Docker is really cool, because what it does is it like, simu it, it makes software like MySQL run the same on any device, Windows, Mac, Linux, your iPhone, if possible. Like it just, it makes it run um, predictably, right? So we'll get Docker from there. And Docker will install a CLI, a command. So we can, from here, go Docker run and we need to forward Postgres, uh, sorry, MySQL runs on port 3306. So we take 3306, the port on our computer and say map that to 3306 inside the, the running um, MySQL database. And we'll say just run MySQL. We can choose to run the latest one if we want. Um, but for MySQL, you also need to choose a password, a root password. So we'll say dash E for environment. MySQL, I don't know the environment variable. So what we're gonna do is we're going to let it error out and then we'll like run there. So it says it wants one of these variables. MySQL allow empty password, let's do that. Um, obviously for production you wanna set a non-empty password but we're just we're just here in dev land, okay? So we'll run that and it's running and what we see is it's starting the database. So now that we have MySQL running, this is it, just, that's it. We're running MySQL locally, that, that's all it takes. Um, and now that it's running, um, how do we talk to it? Well, um, if we go to, um, whoa, lots of things happening. So if we go to um, a new tab in our terminal, we can f look at our running containers with Docker PS, and we see a bunch of stuff, but we just want the container ID. And now we can execute commands in it. So Docker exec um, interactive terminal. Um, I think it's, so in that container, we're gonna just run bash. Okay, and bash is just your terminal. So we're running this, and now, in, so we're inside that running um, computer soft. So what Docker does is it's called virtualization, <clears throat> and it runs a computer in your computer and then runs MySQL. And th the settings of that virtual computer are all optimized for MySQL. So what we just did was we ran the terminal inside the computer running MySQL on our computer, virtual computer, okay? So anyway, without being too confusing, here we can run MySQL. Now we're inside the MySQL monitor, and here we can run our SQL queries. For example, um, show databases, right? And we have all these databases. We can create database, um, I don't know, let's do a to-do app, to-dos. Okay, we made it, and now let's show databases again. Boom, we have to-dos. Uh, we can use our databases, our database, and now inside here we can do some stuff, like create table to-dos, um, and we give it a schema. So ID is an integer, not null and it can auto increment. Um, the primary key is ID. This is just foundational MySQL stuff. And you can have a label, that's text, and it is done, that is Boolean, and the default is false. Okay, so we made a table. Can we do show tables? I, I don't know that we can. Oh, we can, cool, okay. And now we can create some stuff. So create, or insert into, right? Insert into to-dos. And we just want to insert the label, um, and the values will be um, run MySQL locally. Cool. And we can do another one. So instead of run MySQL locally, we can say, whoa, we can say um, uh, query with Express. Done. Okay. Uh, we can also update, <laughs> never mind, this is too much. So now if we should have select star from to do's. Whoa. And we should see. There we go, so we have two to-dos. Now, we, we're running MySQL locally. Let's finish the loop by querying it with Express. For this, I, I recommend using something like Prisma. And there's many reasons for that, but you probably shouldn't write SQL queries like in your applications like that, because it's, um, it's it you could make a typo and then you break your database, right? So like there's things like Prisma that will build queries for you programmatically with code, and these, things that build queries are covered with unit tests heavily, so they never are going to break, and you can just rely on them. So let's use Prisma for that. How do we do that? Well, um, we have our, let's go to, um, to our project, and we'll install Prisma. 
and now I can do npx prisma in it, in it, and then um, what I can do is just follow the instructions, set the database URL and so on. So let's do that. So if we come back to our project, there's nothing there. Okay, um, let's quit VS Code, and we will now enter the database URL. And this is this is the database URL. So we're running MySQL across the protocol. Root is the default user. You put the password here, but remember we have an allow empty password. Password, localhost port 3006 slash to do's. That's the database we just created. So that's the database URL. Okay, so then we, we set the database URL. We set the provider of the data source block in schema.prisma to be Postgres, MySQL, whatever. So it just created a file here. And we'll say that this is not Postgres, but it's MySQL, and the URL is that. This looks good. Okay, next. Run Prisma DB pull to turn your database schema into a Prisma schema, and then generate to generate the client. Okay, cool, let's do that. npx Prisma DB pull. So it's gonna get that database, and look, if you look here, it actually created this model for us from our database schema. And now we can generate a client. Generate. Okay, so now we can connect everything finally. So let's. I don't know, let's create a file called server.ts. And here we can just write some code, right? We'll import express from express. Um, app is a call to, whoa, is a call to express. And let's listen on the default route. And we'll say this is async. And before we fill in any logic, let's just listen, because I always forget to do that. App.listen. Okay, cool. Um, now, what do we do here? How do we get data? Well, we need the Prisma client. So const client is new Prisma client. Where do we get that from? Import Prisma client. We'll just import the Prisma client here. Okay, cool. And now we can query our database with it. So to do's, to do's is await client dot to do's dot find many. And then we'll just like send them as JSON over the server. That's it. And so now we'll run our express server. So vite node, because it's TypeScript, you could just use node if it's JavaScript, server.ts. It's listening on port 3000. Um, I, I'm gonna make this a link, because I wanted to command click it better. Run it again. Now, there we have some JSON. And if we pretty print it, this is our JSON, isn't that cool? Um, and from here, you can build a front end around it. And you can just, you know, do so. We ran MySQL locally. We um, queried it with Express, and I hope that helps. So Docker, Prisma, you can use Grizzle, whatever query builder you want, or you could just write SQL strings yourself. Um, you said there's plenty of examples on how to query it, right? So hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.